This is the BBC World News, with the latest on the growing civil strife in the US. The American civil conflict escalated sharply today. In Washington, a protest against the pending suspension of the Bill of Rights was dispersed by riot police using tear gas and fire hoses. Homeland Security Secretary Thomas Stonewell said the suspension of the Bill of Rights under martial law will be temporary. He said a key component of the new Patriot Act, authorizing an internal resident tracking system, is essential to the administration's plans to improve anti-terrorism safeguards. His agency is putting the final touches on the massive total information awareness computers that will be the heart of the resident tracking system once Congress is the green light. Why do I always have to be the bad guy? It's your turn to be FBI. Hello again, fellow patriots and countrymen. This is Radio Free America, the voice of freedom. Broadcasting on satellite C-band, Galaxy 9, Channel 2, audio frequency 7.7. As September draws near, we approach the anniversary of that terrible day in American history, September 11th. Followed a few years later by the NORAD disaster, these events have changed our world forever. The day that the government turned its back on the law of the land and began its own campaign of terror. BBC reporter Sarah Goddard, who is embedded with the rebel militia Northern Command, was attempting to file a video report when federal jamming blocked her transmission. She said that federal troops were bogged down in a fierce firefight with guerrilla-type units, heavily armed with Stinger and tow missiles, as well as rocket-propelled grenades. Intelligence Command at the Pentagon says there has been a rise in the chatter among militia groups, which together make up the United Front. It was not revealed exactly when. In the name of Homeland Security, most of our basic freedoms granted by the Constitution have been taken away. Newer and more sophisticated technologies are employed by the government to track us, to follow our every move, to intrude upon our lives. They'll be in your bedroom next. All in the name of anti-terrorism. We are restricted at the present time to our shortwave broadcast. We have to broadcast through a mobile triad system just to speak our minds freely. This is our God-given right. The time to dissent and fight back with words is long gone just as the right to do so peacefully has been taken away from us. These facts inspire us in our quest, a quest we know to be, in God's eye, the right thing to do. Signing off, Radio Free America.